and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I've been going over what you need to be doing with your coins during the Ultimate Legend promo. Now, guys, we finally entered what I like to call the Madden Endgame stages, literally after the Super Bowl, because pretty much, you guys always know, I refer to cards that are Endgame, and all that means is that these cards, you can get them now, and you could literally end Madden in July. Still starting these cards and they're equally as effective. Now I love these types of cards because this is kind of because all year, right? You're all anxious, right? Like, should I get Saquon because next week there'll be another running back? We're at a point in the year, guys, where literally any card you pick up, like most cards, Ultimate Legends that you pick up, if you power cam them up, you can keep them on your team while you don't have to worry about the next card because they're gonna have similar stats. So that's kind of the beauty of where we're at right now. So we're in the Madden end game stages now. It doesn't mean the game's over. It just means that most cards that come out are end games. So like. A card this promo and a card two promos from now could be equally as good as a preference at that point, which I like. Because in other promos, right, and on Halloween promo, by the Christmas promo, two promos later, those cards are not even close to competitive anymore. So that's kind of the beauty of this. So now I'm going to be giving you guys my best advice with coins as well far as, like, what could you be using it on? What should you be using it on? What cards are endgame at this point in the year? What coin stack you should be having for the rest of the year? And kind of what you should be doing, like, how should you be taking the approach now? But guys, before we get into this video... Make sure you're going below, get this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 350 likes on this video, guys? I greatly appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us. Guys, I'm super hyped for September, for August, for the brand new Madden. But we still got a few more months to go of this Madden. So, you know, let's enjoy it. Let's make the best of it. I upgraded my team. I'm ready to go. Get back into grinding out some weekend league. And guys, by the way, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. We're super close to 20K, guys. I cannot wait to hit that milestone. We're like 400, 500, no, like 500 subscribers away. So let's get there as soon as possible, guys. Let's make it happen. Now, going on over, what's the recommended coin stack for Ultimate Legends? You're going to need about a million. Now, the beauty of the beauty of this coin stack, though, is that you could progressively build up. You don't need a million tomorrow. You don't need a million right now. Everything's progressive. Because at the end of the day, it's not like, let's say you don't get Troy Palomalo today. It's like, damn, I can't get him today. And then in three weeks, like, oh, a new, a new strong safety is out. At the end of the day, Troy Palomalo is going to still be great in three weeks. It's actually even going to be cheaper. So, this is, what, this is the beauty of it. You don't need coins for anything, like, specific, right? Let's say zero chill starting December 20th. You needed coins by then, and you needed them by this date, and you need this amount of coins, and then you're gonna lose those coins. These you don't lose them either. You don't want the card, the card go sell it back. It'll still be going for a good amount. You can go get another card that you like. That's the beauty of this support of the year. So, what do I recommend doing at this point? Right now, I went on a big shopping spree. Now, the point of that was because the market crashed. It was a horrible crash because of all the Ultimate Legend cards. So, I'd recommend, guys, if there's any cards you want right now, go pick them up. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know what the end game ones are specifically to be picking up. The only cards I'm not touching right now, guys, is this, is this filter. This is the one filter I believe you should not be touching because these cards are so overpriced. They're the only ones of their kind. In like three, four weeks, when there's another 99 quarterback or at least close to it, and uh, Michael Vick comes out and Dion and Champ come out, he'll be down to like 700, 600k. He'll be down to like 800, 700k. The only reason he might stay up in value a little bit is because he's an LTD. So literally, uh, until he gets a Redux, technically. So when Lamar's Redux comes out, he'll be a ton cheaper, but. He won't get a Redux of Series 6, and we just got Series 5. Mahomes, he'll come down a little bit just because people are going to be starting to, well, a lot of people have him not. So it really depends on these. These cards are kind of weird because they're very rare. Not because they're the best cards in the game, well, they are. But not because they're crazy good, but because LTD, Super Bowl set, 32 themed diamond sets. That's the only reason they're holding value, guys. Don't don't go crazy and spend on these cards. Where I believe you should be spending your money right now is the 96, 97s. There are some great values to be had here. So specifically, it's going to be the Ultimate Legends, guys. I pretty much went over this already for you guys, but I'm just going to cover it again. Howie Long is good and all, but the ones that I think you really need to pick up right now are, first off, Walter Jones. Walter Jones is an end game left tackle. I really think you guys should consider picking him up. On my team, which you guys can't see the stats here, if you power cam him up and everything, you're going to come close to about 99 almost everything. And it's a set and forget it kind of guy. If you power him cam up, he'll be a 99 overall. There you go, left tackle, done for the year. Don't even got to worry about it. And that's one of the best things to be done with offensive line. It really sucks having to always upgrade those guys. Be done with that. And then another guy is going to obviously be Troy Palomalu. Guys, this Troy Palomalu is the glitchiest card I've ever played with defensively in Madden. I'm not, no joke. He's crazy good. He's, I mean, look, look at his stats. And that's not even with all my John Madden stuff and all my chems and everything. He is crazy, crazy good. You guys gotta go pick him up. So far, the end game cards that I've gotten from multiple legends are Walter Jones, Troy Palomalu, and then Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson is a man among, he's a man amongst boys. He's actually like, I don't even know how to describe him, guys. He's just crazy good. He's so tall. He 
gets crazy animations. He makes crazy contested catches. He makes crazy diving catches, guys. Overall, those are my three endgame cards that I think you guys should be investing in now. Not investing in, keeping. And you guys were asking me, right? Are these cards end game? At the end of the day, guys, this is how you can evaluate whether or not they're end game and if your coins are worth using it on right now. End games pretty much means that if they can be on your team right now, right? And you truthfully think that you won't need another version of that card, it's end game. Now, some aren't. The other Ultimate Legends aren't exactly. I mean, I'd rather wait because remember, there's going to be tons more Ultimate Legends. So for all you guys asking, like, are these guys, are these guys, those are the three I think are, are worth it. And then you have to remember that there's like literally like, what, 12 more weeks of this. It's going to be happening for a long, long time. So you definitely want to, you don't want to spend everything now. I think those are the three you should definitely pick up right now. Power them up, get them done, then start saving up your coin stack again. Because, I can really not find this team of the year right now. Because you have to remember that we're going to get Deion Sanders soon. We're going to be getting Michael Vick. We're going to get Michael Strahan, maybe. Lawrence Taylor. Sean Taylor. And that's just like a few guys that I can remember right now. Barry Sanders. Bo Jackson, maybe. LaDainian Tomlinson, potentially. Tony Gonzalez. There's so many other big names coming. So in my personal opinion, just wait for those guys as well. So this is what the beauty is. It's every Saturday. It's only a few drops every Saturday. So if your cards don't come out that you want until for like two weeks, two weeks to save coins. Very simple to do. Snipe some cards, save some coins, pick them up. And then you could, the way I like to play this point of the year now is now, I call this like team perfecting. So let's go over to the team. So you, I can show you guys how to properly evaluate where, where you want to put coins and stuff. Team perfecting pretty much works like this. So right here, I had a million coins. I solidified my left tackle. I honestly think Zach Martin's in game. So I solidified my left tackle, my right guard, my wide receiver one, my wide receiver two, my wide receiver three, or whatever, however you want to do it. Then on defense, I solidified, I think I think Sean Taylor's in game for me, I truthfully do. Solidified my strong safety, solidified my right outside linebacker, solidified my right end, solidified my cornerbacks. And where is my little, oh, Calvin. So the only guys now I want to change, are, let's say I want to change Mel Blunt. I also want to upgrade Nitro and Denzel Ward when the new cards are all out. I want to upgrade Mel Blunt, I want to upgrade Von Miller, and I want to upgrade my defensive tackle. So what I got to do? Simple, now I only got to worry about them. Now all I'm waiting is for left outside linebacker. So until I get those, save up coins, save up coins. And you left outside, power up, save up coins. I don't have to be worrying about buying new cards every week and staying up to date with the best things. Because at the end of the day, I have like a ton of cards that I'm just keeping there now. It's kind of the beauty of where we're at in Madden now. That's why this part, this part is a more light-hearted, I like, Madden's fun in three, in three sagas, right? The first beginning of the game, all those new cards, playing every day, grinding. The part two is going to be always having the best cars trying to compete online. And now we're in part three. No more of that Madden anxiety of every week just waiting for the new cards. Literally, you can just chill now. Enjoy online. Like, I'm playing Weekend League right now. I'm having fun with it. I think it's really enjoyable now. I got my team set. And the beauty, the beauty of having one of the better teams now is that people really can't have that much of a better team than you. So you can hop online. Right now, if you're like at least 95, 96, you know you can compete with most teams for the most part. And it comes down to user skill at the end of the day. At that point. And then obviously some Madden luck in there too. But... That's kind of where I'm at right now. And now beyond that, you guys want to be saving coins for as well. This is for the uh, Super Promo as well as the Future Promo. We do have Team MVPs and the Combine Promo coming. So remember, there is going to be some sets to do, some Master stuff, maybe a Chris Johnson. So I recommend you save your coins for that because the next Chris Johnson might be super glitchy. He's probably going to be the Combine Master as usual, as well as a Patrick Peterson should be coming, and Odell and a few other guys. So if you want to save some coins for that, heads up there. And Team MVP is going to give us 32. It's like Team Diamonds with current day players. We're probably gonna be getting those again, which we're gonna probably get like a Julio, a Dak Prescott, Darius Slay, those kind of guys. And those that will be probably come within the next week or so. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys want to save coins for that, those are gonna be sets. By the way, your binder, do not sell your binder yet. Your binder is gonna be very useful because for team MVPs, it's just like team diamonds. A lot of current day players and a lot of players from certain teams are gonna go up in value because they'll be in the set. So definitely save those cards. Because you can easily get back an extra 25% worth of value on every card if you just wait until the time and then binder clean out. I'll let you guys know when the time is, obviously, when everything drops. For the time being, I think for this ultimate legend drop, you want to pick up those three players I named. And then for the 97 power pass, by the way, you guys were asking, like, should I use it now? No, hold on to that. Do not use that just yet. There's gonna be plenty more 97 ultimate legends. I'm gonna save it for like a Dion, a Vic, or one of those guys. So whoever ends up being a 97, Vic, Dion, Lawrence Taylor, Sean Taylor, Tony Gonzalez, whoever ends up being a 97, I'll use it on them. Some will be 98s, but I think for now, most of them will be 97s because they went 96s. They'll probably do half and half, and then in like a month or so, probably do 98, 99s. We got plenty of time for that. That pretty much wraps up what I think you should be doing with the coins right now. There's no more investing, guys. Realistically, I think the market's just going to be coming down from now on. It's not going to come back up too much. There's no more investing in power-ups for the most part. Even power-ups aren't even the most expensive things anymore. What's expensive is the middle pieces. Like, power-up Troy Palomalu, what was expensive was his Mutt 10 93 power-up card. The card you need for the chain. Those cards you can invest in. Power-up investments aren't exactly that great anymore, but you can invest in their pieces. But the pieces have to be cards like Reduxes and like LTDs. Those cards go up a lot. Regular cards don't go up as much because they're so common in packs. 
but that's pretty much it guys as far as making coins and then you guys probably wondering like beyond what i'm saying how should you make coins the level of ground right now if you're not level 90 yet you're missing out i mean like that's how i made most of those coins i had level of ground is definitely one of the big ones guys that is about it for the video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel let's get this video to 300 likes let's get to 20k subs as quick as possible if you're new always drop a sub and join the family you won't regret it and then comment down below what you guys should be doing with what do you, what do you think you should be doing with your coins right now help out the community down below but guys that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm out see you in the next video peace